your site has no URLs with a good page experience. In Google Search Console, the page experience report may be showing you your site has no URLs with a good page experience. And you may be wondering, well, my website is mobile friendly. It's using HTTPS. There are no security issues and it's meeting the Core Web Vital requirements. And yet, Google Search Console is saying your site has no URLs with a good page experience. So why would that be? In this video session, we're going to explore different ways to analyze our website so that it does provide URLs with a good page experience. Now we're looking at my valued client's web property. For us to remedy what we're seeing is we need to make changes on the website. But for your web property, let's go and see where you should be focusing on. I've recently made huge changes on Rank Your website because of page experience update. There are great resources here for you to definitely check out. When you're logged into your search console, on the left-hand side menu, you have option for legacy tools. Press on it and then press on web tools. Now, these are legacy tools. That means you need to verify your website using the URL prefix method. If you can't access it, then make sure that you have verified your website using the old method okay because the web tools here gives us additional tools for us to explore and see and this this correlates with the page experience as well make sense like the page experience signals if everything is okay on your website then the next thing to check is the web tools. Here we have ad experience report. You can definitely learn more about what this is. Then press on desktop menu link here. Here you can see we can select different web property. So select the one you're analyzing. Here it says status not reviewed. That's actually good. That means my website does not have problems. Then I can actually press on mobile menu link here to see what's going on here as well, okay? Then we have abusive experiences. Did my website have abusive experiences? Then we have testing tools. So this is the next step for analyzing our website. Let's press on structured data testing tool. Here you can simply you know if you're using structured data for your website your theme may include that automatically you may be using plugins for that but google does have structured data guidelines as well so it may be picking something up regarding the structured data guidelines so simply run some tests, although Search Console does provide uh, reports for enhancements, some things you can test using the structured data testing tool. Here make sure there are no warnings here either. Okay, so then uh, what else can we do? Okay, now. Let's imagine the ad experience report is all okay. Structured data, you've test your site, it's all okay. Then it's smart to test your website for mobile user experience. Now, I'm going to try and simplify the importance of what I'm showing you because in this example, my website may be using tracking pixels for example so that means just because 
the website is mobile friendly as in it can be viewed on a mobile device right it's all mobile friendly here it's all good mobile friendly test is saying your page is mobile friendly but here page does have problems as in it's partially loaded at this moment if you see anything here you probably won't be able to fix it and this probably won't affect the page experience update as in mobile usability of your website will not be affected because the page is partially loaded okay but nonetheless conducting tests to see you know what sure search console is showing us reports here it's showing us the you know the fluctuations in the chart as to okay your website is having good urls or no urls with good page experience and so on at that moment when we analyze what we're seeing here you know the, is the requirements met consistently in this example core web vitals is failing some urls still mobile usability is failing some urls still that means it's smart to analyze our website using the testing tools and analyze it in such way that we analyze important parts of our site let's imagine you operate an e-commerce site then you can test the product urls you can test your home page you can test certain pages of your website and so on okay the same is true with structured data testing same is true with mobile testing yeah same is true with page experience uh, page speed insight tester don't just test your home page but rather different parts of your website because the page experience reports it looks at your entire website make sense another option for us to analyze apart from the web tools is let's press on settings here we have crawl stats let's open that report up and here what you want to look at is the the urls here it says crawl requests breakdown in this example 96 percent is okay now that's we're still looking at my valued clients web property i'm going to show you the rank yard property here you can see there are server errors so i can press on that to further analyze it as to say okay you know why did my web server encounter problems because there could be time delay between what Google picks up compared to the crawling process. Crawling process has not much to do with page experience algorithm because crawling process is just requesting. But you still want to make sure that your website is not having problems, perhaps on the server level. Another area for us to double check, we can look at performance. We can do something like this actually not performance but coverage as we can see server error 555 all what we're seeing with search console all the many tools available for us is for us to make sure that our website is not having errors also we can then see different reports to say hmm okay the website is not having errors but is there other problems? That's why we do these tests because ad experience is part of page experience algorithm requirements, make sense? And ad experience doesn't just mean ads on your website. See, I've taken the ads off Rank Your Website to provide better user experience for website visitors. But that doesn't mean my website is meeting the page experience requirements because mobile responsiveness compared to mobile usability are completely two different things 
Make sense? Like just because this page is mobile friendly and it's responsive does not mean it's meeting the page experience algorithm requirements because mobile usability is to do with the usability, not necessarily just the responsiveness. Make sense? So if your website is not having problems, but then you have to sit back and say, okay, when people view my website using different devices, such as desktop, laptop, mobile, what is the experience that you're providing to them? And is it according to what Google wants for page experience and Core Web Vitals? Because Core Web Vitals is to do with page load, yes, but it also has to do with interactivity and also visual stability. Make sense? That's very important to grasp when we fix the page experience. You, your site has no URLs with a good page experience. So first we analyze Google Search Console tools, legacy tools particularly. Look at crawl issues. Does our website every now and then have problems? And then use testing tools such as structured data testing tool to see, okay, did my you know, content management system or am I using some plugins that's inserting structured data that is not meeting Google guidelines? Because Search Console reports does not show us everything. That's why you want to run those tests with mobile friendly tests Triple make sure different parts of your site is you know, mobile friendly, not just your home page. And then say, okay, all is great. I've done all the tests. Everything is, you know, you're passing the test, <laughs> you know, with flying colors. And yet, Page experience says your site has no URLs with good page experience, right? At that moment, you say, hmm, if that's the case, what does Google really want? Then the next step is quality, quality guidelines of a site. Just because we're publishing content doesn't mean we're providing that great content. So on Rank Your Website, for example, in this URL, I've you know, shared great insights from my experience and knowledge. But a random visitor visiting this URL may not find this insight useful. Perhaps their technical knowledge may be not as experienced compared to the next person. So then what Google does is it considers all that into ranking evaluation. Make sense? So I'll leave it at that because I've bombarded a lot at you. But at the end of the day, if your website is having problems, such as your site does not provide good page experience, then that has to be fixed. And before I close up, I'll show you a couple of uh, mentions as to what's really going on with the page experience update. As we can see, there are other website owners that are losing drastically Google rankings. And if the website does not have URLs with good page experience, then we're going to lose rankings too. That's why we want to run these tests. That's why we want to look at what I've shown to you, because then you can better optimize your website. Imagine this scenario. In this example, Search Console mine tanked at 75% down, just imagine your website is providing for your well-being. Let's imagine you're earning your bread and butter from your website. Let's imagine you're a small business owner. 75% ranking drop? That can't be ignored. That's why you want to run these tests that I've shown to you. And then visit Rank Your Blog. Because here I've updated the website and shared, you know, for example, we have the master class here. There are freely available videos for you to quickly target some keywords, 
optimize your landing pages, focus on Core Web Vitals, optimize images for page experience, and so on. There is also a different version here, which is a paid version. You may check that out as well, because what I've shared in there will actually help you to get better results on internet from your website. That includes the page experience on mobile or desktop and so on. Apart from that, continue doing the right things in terms of having your content strategy in place and optimize your website and continue sharing that useful information with your target audience. I thank you very much for learning with Rankia. If you haven't subscribed to Rankia YouTube channel, then definitely do so because I will be putting out more useful insights for website owners and online marketers alike. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.